Hey again, Daryl, RV Adventure. Today we're going to do a follow-up on the Champion Generator, talk about some electrical power uses inside Maddie, our 2011 Landmark by Heartland, and little old Princess. I got my best helper. Stay tuned. You're going to want to watch this. TV. Check us out on Facebook, RV Adventure TV, RVAdventureTV.com. Well, 13 days and counting, getting serious about getting Maddie ready to go. Been working underneath, storing stuff, rearranging, getting rid of everything we don't need, checking a few things out. All right, what we're doing today, first thing that we're going to do is the generator. I want to show you what I'm doing here just as a test principle for right now we've got the Champion 3100 watt max 2800 generator running right now it's hooked up to the 30 amp TT30 plug going directly into the RV this is on not on a economy mode it's on full run pretty quiet you can't even hear it inside Maddie. So what we're doing is we're powering Maddie with the Champion. So let's go inside, check out what all we're running. Did a little work. We've got the uh, Radio Labs antenna up there. Uh, got that from Chris and G Travels. It was a great price. Also, while we're here, just to let you know, we did get from Chris and G Travels. The Progressive Industry 50 amp surge protector. And as you can see up here, I got the 30 amp also. So I got all three of those items from Chris and G Travels. Again, check out their website. Uh, he sells a lot of good stuff and he's tried and true and I've had not had a problem with any one of those devices. Let's go inside and see what we got going on here, what we're using for power. All right, right now the microwave is not on, but it's charged. The refrigerator is running on AC. You can see we got all the lights on here. The direct TV box is up and running. The TV downstairs is up and running. So we know all these lights in here run off 12 volt, so more than likely the charger is on, charging the battery if needed. I do not have the water heater on. I do not have the microwave on. And I do not have the air conditioner down here in the living area. But let's go upstairs. Here we go upstairs. And as you can hear, air conditioner is running. 68 degrees. So. The answer to the question was, will the Champion 75537i run a 2011 Heartland Landmark with the main electricity plugged into it, running the normal stuff inside the unit? and one air conditioner and as you can see it's doing it not only running one air conditioner but it's running two TVs it's running the booster for the TV external antenna now I have not plugged in or should I say turned on the microwave I have not turned on the water heater it is off I think it would be asking too much and there's no reason to test that out to see if it would max out the champion I changed the oil in the champion and put new oil in it's recommended well it's really dictated 
for warranty reasons, change the oil after five hours of running. So I've changed the oil out and she's running great. Um, so that just goes to show you that the new generator that I got will run one air conditioner in Maddie. I don't know how I'm going to hook it up yet, whether I'm going to go with a 30 amp plug directly into the generator connection side or if I'm just going to leave the generator in the back of the truck while we're hooked up uh, say we're at a Walmart or a Lowe's and I can't pull the truck off to the side I want to leave it back in the truck so I got to run a cord from there either all the way to the back or up under here to make the connection I'm fixing to figure that out uh, maybe you can run a 10 gauge uh, heavy duty extension cord back to the plug in back there and plug it in and leave the generator in the back of the truck I don't know we'll further test that but we're getting everything ready to go Kim's over in Baton Rouge enjoying the benefits of uh, her son having a baby so she's over there with her sisters having some family time I'm over here just trying to get everything ready to go and uh, the countdown is on so stay tuned any questions or comments please put them down below please take a moment to give me a thumbs up or also subscribe if you're first time here uh, we appreciate it very much if there's anything uh, questions that you have let us know other than that getting ready to go and we'll see you next time and just remember stop the madness start the adventure all right one thing i'm going to remind everybody the exhaust comes out right there and that coming out is 224 degrees so anything that you got over here very careful i'm going to store the gas somewhere else and also on this side you got to make sure this side has fresh air that it can go ahead and take all the air in it needs. So again, love the unit so far. We'll see what it does down the road. Now let's get back to see what she'll do. I know most of you are going to ask, so we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and do this. We're hooked up to the 120 volt cord got my reducers down from 120 volt 20 amp to 30 amp and then going into the main cord down here now I'm running on economy mode and again I am running my TVs everything right now is running but the air conditioner of course a microwave or a water heater so, in Maddie, 2011 Landmark, Heartland, the Champion Generator will run. But the question is, the cord doesn't reach all the way to the truck, so somehow I'm either going to have to get a 30 amp cord to go from there to the back of the truck while I'm hooked up so I don't have to disconnect, because the cord's not long enough. And I know 12 gauge is not good enough. I thought I had bought 10 gauge, but that is a 12 and it's way too long. But it'll work. Now when we're boondocking, I'll be able to take the generator out and hook it up in the back so there won't be an issue. But if we're going down the road, we want to pull over, we need power, I can auto start the generator right here. But now I have nowhere to plug it in. This is where it goes into effect and I can go back in here, hook something up there, come right up here connected to the generator so I don't know if I want to try to run the air conditioner on 120 volt it might work it might not I'm not going to take the chance but it will run Maddie on one 20 amp circuit with two TVs the lights on and uh, we can go in let's go ahead and try the microwave
you can see the TVs are on. It's on economy mode. Let's try the microwave. You heard the generator jumped up. So it will run the microwave. It goes from economy mode and went stepped right on up. So hey, that's a good thing to know. All right, well, another thing that's off my list. Again, stop the madness, start the adventure. Let's go boondocking. Let's go camping. Let's get on the road. <laughs>